So far we have discussed the basics of the files and their structures. Now let's see how to create a file and how to save it. Go to Start and click All Programs. Choose the accessories and select the WordPad. The WordPad window opens. In the WordPad window, go to the File menu and select the New option, or press Ctrl plus N, or select the new icon on the toolbar. The new document opens. Type the content. Then to save the document, go to the File menu and choose the Save option, or press Ctrl plus S, or select the Save icon on the toolbar. The Save As dialog box appears. Select the My Documents in the Save In box. Then type the name in the file name and select the file format in the Save As box. Now click OK. Here we can see the file appears in My Documents. Thus we have created a file. We have discussed the file, structure, its formats, and creating a file in this tutorial. Working with Windows Explorer. In this tutorial, let's discuss how to work in Windows Explorer. Let's open the Windows Explorer, as I have already explained how to open, window from all programs. The window opens up. We will see the View button. When we click on the arrow near the View button, a list pops out. Thumbnail. The thumbnail view changes the display pictures in the folder into small thumbnail-sized images. Folders without pictures are displayed in large icons. If we click on it, we can view it, and if we click it again, then the folders will return to normal. Tile. The tile view will display the details of the file below the file name. If we click on it, the view of the folders and files changes. We can see the file details also. Icon. The icon view shows the folder and files as icons, and the name of the file folder is also displayed. List. This only lists the files and folders, and the size of the icon and name will be the same. Details. This view displays the details like size, type, and date modified of the file, only not for the folder. We can choose the information to display. Try all the views and select the one that's comfortable for you. Back and forward buttons are used to go back and forth. If we click on the back button, then it will show the previous page. Likewise, when you click on the forward button, it will show the next page. The folder button is used to display the whole folders in the operating system. If we click on it, we can see the left pane displays all the folders.